that you threw away today at lunch. Away? Are you gonna throw, Declan, are you gonna throw all that food away? Hey Skylar, do you plan on finishing that food? Sydney, do you plan on finishing that food? Oh, how many paper towels did you use? How many paper towels are you gonna take? Do you plan on finishing that food? How many paper towels are you gonna use? These are the questions we've been asking our peers. In this documentary, we want to highlight the thought and lack of thought that goes into waste at HMI, as well as ways to improve the way we use and think about our waste in our community. Do you know what? Think about the food that you wasted at lunch today. Um, I didn't waste any food. I ate all the food on my plate. Wait, can I be in the pool? How do you feel about the fact that all this food is going to waste? Hey, I'll keep the bears. Keep the bears. Shame. Shame. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Why? Because I'm still hungry. I'm just engaged in conversation right now. Wait a second, Lucy. Are you planning on eating all of that leftover on your plate? Um, I don't know. I'm hoping to finish it, but I'm thinking that I got too much and that now I have extra waste, which is something that I should probably have thought about before yeah. and made more conscious decisions on when choosing, when choosing my meal yeah. because I don't want there to be extra waste at HMI because I think it would be just way more beneficial to eat all, all my food. Are you going to finish that? Lizzie, you can do me. I'm, I have so Aiden, much food that I'm Aiden, What are you going to do with that food? Yeah. Okay, we'll come <laughs> Methane and through their raging. This is an example of people not thinking about where their food is going or what they are going to do with their food in the long run. Well as how it impacts the environment, not only at HMI, but in a global scale. It's going in the pig bucket. And how does that make you feel? Um, like pretty good because I ate most of it. Do you think that HMI does a good job of like no, handling waste? We have, the pig, we have the pig bucket. Okay, and okay, great. And that's do you think cool. that's a good solution? Yeah, I do. A bigger impact on global warming than composting would. So, Kate, you ate your whole plate. No, I have more to eat actually. You see all the rest of the stuff, right? So, what are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna eat it. All of it? Yeah. Why? Because I don't want to waste food because I got it on my plate and I got seconds, so I don't want to leave my seconds um, on the plate. Lucy and I just found this paper towel on the street. This is what happens when we overuse paper towels at HMI. They get left on the street carelessly and are detrimental to the ecosystems around HMI. According to Bennett, why advocate for the vitality of matter? Because my hunch is the image of dead or thoroughly instrumentalized matter feeds human hubris and our earth-destroying fantasies of conquest and consumption. It does so by preventing us from detecting a fuller range of the non-human powers circulating around and within human bodies. These material powers which, we, which can call for our attentiveness or even respect. Judging by the amount of paper towels each person on campus uses, the waste accumulates exponentially as people become naturally more careless. With a hand dryer, though slightly more time consuming, the limited waste makes it all worth it. For each use, hand dryers produce between 9 and 40 grams of carbon emissions per use, and paper produces about 56 grams of carbon emissions per use. As we have learned in science at HMI, carbon emissions are direct causes of a warming climate. According to Boss Lee, by separating ourselves from garbage, we draw a boundary that establishes order, value, and identity. If we can limit our trash, we are establishing a relationship of respect to the vitality of matter. Oh, how many paper towels did you use? One. Is that why only one? <laughs> is, that, is that normal for you? Yeah. So why did you still only use one? Because why would I use more if I only need one to dry my hands and more would be wasteful? Amazing answer. Do you think that HMI should implement air dryers? Yes, I do. As long as they're energy efficient, though. Do you use any paper towels? No. Why not? I like the wet feeling of water and soap on my hands. Okay. One's not enough for me. <laughs> So why did you use so many paper towels? Because one little mere paper towel doesn't do enough. It doesn't dry my entire hand, so I need three or more. Okay, and do you think that HMI should implement air dryers rather than paper towels? Well, air dryers are actually very dirty. I've heard it spreads <laughs> germs around. But I think a cool concept would be if we got um, like downy because they're very thick and absorb. <laughs> Toilet paper? <laughs> So how many paper towels did you take? I took one. Do you normally take one? Yeah. Why? Because I need to dry my hands, but I guess I should be using less waste.
Do you think that an air dryer would be a good addition to the HMI um, campus? Yes, I do. If but it would use energy, so it might be worse. I don't know. Hey, so how many paper towels are you using? I'm using two paper towels. Why? Dry my hands, and there's also no blow dryer in this bathroom, which I've noticed. Oh, ah, do you think that implementing an air dryer at HMI would be beneficial to the community? I think it really would, because we wouldn't go through all this every day. Because it runs out every day. It's confusing it all the time. Well, how many paper towels are you using? No, please continue. <laughs> As if I wasn't here. No, please. So, so okay, so you, why'd you use two paper towels? I have big hands. And do you think that HMI should implement air dryers as opposed to paper towels? Oh, absolutely. Do you think that would be beneficial? Of course. How many paper towels are you gonna take? Two. Is that how many you usually take? Yeah. Why? Because it dries my hands. <laughs> do you think that if HMI implemented an air dryer that it would be a good idea? Yeah. It's, got, it's not compost. It's going to pigs, which in. <laughs> hubris matter. Feeds human hub and hubris. It's <laughs> human hubris. Is it hubris? I advocate. Oh my god, I forgot the meta thing. No, we have to film. I lost my math homework. Okay, come on. Aww. I love wasting food. <laughs> wasting food is my favorite thing. I literally just get a massive plate of food from Chef Jeff every day. I don't usually take a bite, and then I put it all in the pig bucket.